All right, y'all, look at this right here. I know this ain't no beautiful thing, but I just used what I had. I'm trying to keep it as economical as possible, just like we did the rest of the pontoon boat. This is going to be an addition to the front porch on the pontoon boat. Oh, it's going to hinge off of the front porch. You see the you see the hinges right here. I'm going to actually screw those down to the front porch of the pontoon boat. That way that this can just flip up and it can be, you know, it can, it can be, oh, a guard, you know, a block to keep the rocks from busting the glass and the windows and doors in the front in transit going down the road, you know, behind the truck. Anyway, and, and while I'm traveling uh, on water, I can just leave it down because uh, it's going to be so high off the water, you know, I don't have to worry about it getting in the way and it won't obstruct my vision, you know, while I'm navigating the boat. Anyway, what I was going to show y'all is a lot of people... I, I did a little thing a while ago on Instagram, and uh, some people were asking me how I tie those eyes back in this cable. You know, because this is what most people see is this right here. You know, you just take and put cable clamps on them and all that right there. And, and what I'm fixing to show y'all is going to change y'all. Probably change your mind because this is this is a lot faster, a lot easier, and a whole lot stronger to uh, tie one in, you know, like that. Uh, like if you busted your cable. You know, on you know, winch cable on your uh, on your four wheeler, or you you know off roading or whatever happened, and, and you know there you are stuck. You can't, you know, you fresh out of uh, cable clamps. This is going to be better and stronger and faster anyway. So uh, what I want to do is is set the camera, or set the phone up, and just try to do a video and show y'all exactly how I do it. I mean, this may not be the exact way to do it but uh, it's the way and it's going to beat this right here any day of the week y'all just y'all just bear with me uh and it won't take long and uh, let me set this thing up and get started all right what i did is i went and got a different cable which uh, is a whole lot stiffer and a whole lot harder to work with now, I want to start from from the beginning. I was just trying this one out just then before I started the video, and it's it's really a pain. If you can get that saw pliable, which that's normally what comes on a winch or something. So if you're in the woods and you bust a if you bust a cable, and and more than likely the the cable that comes on the winch is going to be a whole lot more pliable than this right here. This is more like logging stuff. It's super super uh, rigid. You know, it's real stiff. I would recommend uh, gloves and possibly even, uh, you know, uh, a pair of safety glasses because you could get popped in the eye. Now, it don't make no difference So uh, what you got. If you've got eight strands, 10 strands, 12, 11, 9, it don't matter, odd, even, whatever it is, just make sure that you try to split it the close you can. You go off. If you've got an odd number, you're going to have even on one side and odd on the other. It really don't make any difference, I promise you. I think this one right here is like eight, so I got four and four. Now, what I'm going to do is unwind this right here. And let's say I was in the woods. Instead of me putting a front porch, in addition to the front porch on the pontoon boat, say I was in the woods and I busted my winch cable on my truck. And I'm standing there with this, you know, useless. Okay, and I'm fresh out of uh, cable clamps, which I don't care that much about. But anyway, just bear with me. All right, I've still got my eye. I mean, my hook. There's my hook. Just say that's a hook. You know, to go around the tree and hook back to itself. If you know what I'm saying. You don't have to have the hook. I mean, you can hook it over the ball of the truck or whatever. I'm just saying. Just say that's your hook. wire this bad boy back in there now see how that's fitting back together all right what you're gonna do is you're gonna pull that one through there you're gonna keep it you know what I mean like I said this stuff is hard to work with because it's so stiff and that other just watch your eyes and watch those little frays because it's gonna they're gonna tear you up all right it's sort of like cross-threading a nut or something. If you don't get it right, this stuff will tell you. You see how it's going back together the, re the way it originally looked, you know, just around. See? 
it'll it'll tell you when you're going wrong it'll be actually you'll have to almost bend it to get it to work if you're having to fight it to get it to fit in there you know instead of just working it easy like if it doesn't just fit right in pretty you know relatively easy then you're going you're doing it wrong you know it's 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 fighting itself what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go ahead and put the eye get it out of the way all right or your hook your hook because we're not working on a pork right now we're trying to get out the woods all right all right one more revolution let's go one more again with it. one more again super rigid Oof. all right i've got that one all the way to the throat of my eye right there let's finish this side up with the same thing okay and you can see it threading you can see it threading right back in there like it's supposed to now, i'm making get one more revolution one more inside pass with this one i don't know i may have to back up point but let's see that's super tight right there that's really pushing it so if it's if it's pushing it don't do it just back out one okay all right, and gosh, y'all wouldn't believe how rigid that thing is. All right, now let's go like that. I could have got it a little bit. I probably possibly could have got one more pass with it, but we're gonna go with it like this because it's still will be 10 times stronger than any cable clamp that you can ever imagine using. Like I said, man, let me tell you, this is some rigid mess right here. So wear a pair of gloves. But look how that spliced together. Can y'all see that right there? Look at that. All right, the tighter you pull on this right here, the more tension it's going to put on, the, on it. See what I'm saying? There's no way that you're going to pull that loose. You're going to break something. Now, if you want to use your little cable clamp, use it to hold that, that pigtail down, you know, to keep it out of the way. But, folks, this is the only way to, to, to this is the best, safest way to do this because let me tell you something. I have seen cable clamps come loose. And let me tell you, when you're dodging that cable, especially on a four wheel or something like that, oh, it's dangerous. This is the best way. All of that stuff's dangerous, so if you start popping cables, it's getting pretty rough. Y'all be safe out there. Maybe I got somebody out of a bind or oh, helped out. For those of y'all that didn't know how to do it, oh, maybe I helped out a little bit. Y'all be safe out there. And, uh, hey, appreciate the support on YouTube. Appreciate everybody. Appreciate y'all.